Hi everyone, it's Audrey from Country Stampers, and today I have a cute Valentine's uh, project for you. But first, I want to show you the three catalogs that we have going on right now. We have our annual catalog um, that is going now until June, and then our new one will be coming out. We have our occasions catalog that has some great uh, new projects. Um, ideas as well as stamp sets and die cuts and also this really um, awesome tool it's called the Big Shot die brush um, I've been watching videos on it and I just ordered mine um, so mine will be coming in and it works really um, great for our delicate um, dies like this one here the Bloomin' Hot um, Bloomin' Heart dot Thinlet um, so I will be doing a video on that as soon as that comes in. Um, but, you know, we do have some great new stamp sets in here that um, also some of the things will coordinate with the stuff in our annual catalog. So, um, and we have a bunch of bundle sets, which if you buy a bundle like this one here, um, the Happy Home and the Hearth and Home Thinlet, you save 15% on the bundles so that is a great way to get um, more for your money you know we have some ideas for Mother's Day birthdays Valentine's Day um, you know get well soon you know we even have some Easter stuff um, going on right now we have these new bags here these new cone bags um, and they're perfect for your Easter um, treats for the kids um, you know you can even make up a get well candy bag for somebody um, so that is the other catalog that we have going on and then we have our celebration catalog now for every fifty dollars that you spend you can pick one free item from this catalog and there's you know you have some vellum paper stacks you have stamp sets um, you have the two-step stamp set, which this is an awesome step. I'll be making a project using this one um, this week for you. And, you know, we also have some Project Life stuff in here as well. Um, you know, some Easter, birthday, you know, um, papers. And this Wildflower um, Fields Designer Series paper is so beautiful. I've used it in a couple of projects. And um, that is another paper that I will be featuring this week for you. And then you have this adorable chick. And I just think he is so cute. And you see here where this little honeycomb embellishment is. Now that is in our occasions catalog. And look how cute you can, you know, make up a cute little card and everything. And unfortunately, if you have these open and you want to try to mail it, um, you're going to either have to pay extra postage um, or send it in a, you know, a padded envelope. But you can also just leave it folded down, put a little note with a little bit of adhesive. So when your recipient receives it, they can open it up and seal it and then put it on display. And then we have some limited edition stamp sets. Um, these end... February 15th and the new ones are we'll have new ones to replace the limited ones and they will be available February 16th so if there's one in here that you would like I would try to grab it now if it's a limited edition one because um, when they're gone that's it and I mean we even have the limited um, paper as well and from what I've seen this is a really pretty paper so you know but these are our three catalogs now when you if you received one from me or any other demonstrator you're gonna open it up and you're gonna see some information right on the first two pages this one covers when the celebration is running the limited um, items and then over here you have join now you can join Stampin' Up! anytime but right now, during the celebration time, is an awesome time to sign up. And, um, you know, I would love to have you join my team if you'd like. 
and you can either do it as a hobbyist and just doing it for the discount so when you first start out um, you get a 20% discount on everything that you order under your demonstrator um, and as you reach your goals your discount can get greater if you um, want to go up any higher um, so I mean it is up to you you can do this as a hobbyist or you can also do this as a business so um, I started off as a hobbyist and I am slowly now moving it into a business because I do really enjoy being able to show my friends my family um, techniques and how that they can create their own um, projects and their own creations and make it theirs um, I also enjoy meeting new people and sharing with them as well so that's why I do videos and I do online card classes for um, not only my team but I also do it for my customers so I mean it the choice is yours but you can get started with Stampin Up for $99 and normally our kit would be a hundred and twenty five dollars in product so that way you can design your kit to what your creativity is um, but during celebration not only do you get the hundred and twenty five dollars in product but you get an additional thirty dollars in product as well so now you get a hundred and fifty fifth um, left sorry about that you get a hundred and fifty five dollars for the cost of your kit of $99 in you know tax so this is a perfect time to sign up and then we have our hosting a uh, workshop or you know online party however you want to do it um, you know and that will cover all that down there for you you can you know have some fun with this so I just wanted to you know go over that really quick with you and if you have any questions please jump over to my blog and um, click on join my team and all the information will be posted there if you have any further questions please feel free to contact me I can help you um, and I would love to have you join my team so let's get on with today's project which I will be using um, a stamp set from our annual catalog um, teeny tiny wishes and we're going to be using the happy Valentine's Day right there and we're also going to use the love blossoms paper stack designer series paper stack from our occasion catalog and there's really some lovely papers in here you can use them for Mother's Day, birthday cards, not just for Valentine's Day. All right. And so what you're going to need is this is the project that we're going to be creating. A nice little lollipop holder um, for your children, you know, whoever you'd like. You're going to need a piece of, and I'm actually going to do mine um, in rose red tip um, for this, for the video. But I did use the Blushing Bride um, cardstock in this one. All right. So you're going to need a piece of cardstock measuring two and a quarter by six and a half inches. And you're going to score it at two and a half and four inches. Okay. And you're going to need a piece of your designer series paper. And I'm using these cute little hearts. And you could even use the other side if you wanted to. It has a beautiful floral print on the back. And this is cut at 2 and 1 8 by 2 and 1 8. I have a strip of Whisper White for stamping. And this is very narrow. And it's about a quarter of an inch by 4 inches long. But we're going to be trimming it down once we stamp our saying. And then I have a piece of scrap um, glimmer paper and the Dazzling Diamonds. And that's only going to be for the punching out of the little heart. And then I have my ink, which will be using the rose red um, stamping pad here. So, and then I have my block already set up with my sentiment on it. And this is our G block. All right. And I'm also going to be using some of our 3 8 inch ribbon for this. All right. So again, all you're going to do is score um, two and a half and four inches, and then you're going to take your bone folder. And you're going to fold on those lines, 
and give them a really good crease. And then you can see. We're also going to be using um, our circle framelits to cut out the circle. Um, so the little heart-shaped lollipop can see, be seen through it. All right, so I will actually be going off a of video to do that. But what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to adhere my designer series paper right to the front of my cart, my project. And you're just going to leave even space on the top and the bottom. And then you'll notice it's more narrower on the sides. And just put that down. So I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to stamp. Now stamping on something this small is really difficult. So um, I'm going to try to line it up as good as I can. I've got a nice ink. Make sure I have my stamp going the right way. And I'm actually going to move this down a little bit so I can see. Sorry if my head is in the way. And yeah, it's a little cockeyed, but it's okay. And then I'm going to bring in my banner punch. Well, let me close up my ink because knowing me, I will stick my fingers right in that. And all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to only fan one edge. And actually, it looks like I might have cut this a little bit thinner than my last one. So, And I'm just going to line it up to where it looks like it's right in the center and punch. I'm going to set that aside. Now I'm going to leave this long little space here when I add that onto my card, I mean onto my project. And while we're at it, I'm going to bring in my heart punch from the itty bitty accent punch set. You get three punches with this little set. Um, you get a heart, a star, and a little flower. So I'm just going to punch that out, set that aside. And I will be right back. I'm going to use um, my circle framelits, which I think it is the third circle um, that I'm going to use for this. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and here it is. And I brought over my magnetic plate with everything on it so you can see how it would look. All right, you can use a one and a quarter inch um, circle punch if you'd like. It's, you know, whatever your preference is, as long as you get that circle. And you know, set those aside. And that's the circle framework that I used. So now that's all cut out. So now what you can do is grant, grab your dimensionals. <coughs> and I'm going to cut down a couple of these to make them a little bit smaller so I can get them on the back of my piece here of my cinnamon. Okay, that one doesn't want to let go. So let's try these. Alright. You could even use glue dots if you wanted to. I wanted a little um I wanted it to pop up a little bit. So that's why I'm using my dimensionals, and that one's a little bit sticking out, so I'm going to try to move that. All right, and I'm just going to lay that across the bottom, coming up over the bottom part of the circle a little bit, and put that as even as I can. And then I'm just going to take another small dimensional here and put on my heart. right there and now I'm going to add that right about here to cover up that little edge. We also have in our um, occasions catalog some of the Blushing Bride Glimmer paper which would also work for this project as well. Now here's my little heart lollipop and I picked these up at Walmart. Um, and I'm actually going to be making these treats for my daughter's class. So, and now I'm just going to grab my glue dots. And I'm going to add a couple right here close to the center. 
of my, um, you know, not too far down, but not too far up. And all I want to do is put my lollipop in there, lining it up so it catches the um, plastic around it. And now it's going to lay just like that. And I'm going to add two more glue dots to the corner of the back part of my cardstock here. And I think I put that one a little too low. So, and now I'm just going to bring it up, lining up my corners. Sorry if I was just off screen. So there you go. And now all we need to do is add our ribbon. And we are finished with this cute little Valentine treat that, you know, you can hand out to the kids. You can hand out you know, to the kids' teachers, you know, just something cute to just say Happy Valentine's Day. And, you know, now I'll trim this up. Oh, I grabbed the wrong scissors. Hold on. And you could trim this up a little bit shorter. You don't have to have it as long. And there you go. Now you have these cute little Valentine treats for your kids. So I hope you guys enjoy and if you have any questions please feel free to contact me and I will answer your questions and help you out as much as I can and if I can't find the answers well I will find somebody that knows the answers so I can get you going. So remember if you would like to join my team stop over to my blog and you know click on join my team and all the information will be posted there. And also, leave a comment on my blog underneath this project. And you can win um, one of the kits to create these yourself. The only thing is, um, I have to remind you, with my kits, the stamping does not come with them. The stamps are not included. It's all of the basic supplies to create the project. Okay? Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.